All right, I want to talk about another set that I was wrong about again. If you guys watched yesterday's video, you guys know that I was talking about Twilight and I kind of made a video a while ago, uh, kind of dumping on Temporal and Twilight together. I was before um, Twilight was out, but I just want to jump straight into this and just kind of go how I was wrong. You guys can see when, like, when, this, when this stuff came out, like 140 a box, this is pre-orders and stuff obviously, but you can see that even at its lowest point, this box has never dipped below $100, which in my opinion shows a lot of strength moving forward. Not that there can't be reprints on these boxes, right? And we do see a sale here at 99 which is below 100 but the overall that you can't even pick these boxes up for below $100, which is crazy. Because all the other Scarlet and Violet sets, all the other Sword and Shields, when they launch, they launch high, they, they come down, right? And we know that you can pick those up. If you're getting those in the 80s, you're doing really well. Even the low 90s, you know, you're really good. But the fact that these newer sets are not dipping below 100 shows a lot of strength. And these pull rates are difficult. They're, they're harder. And it's, uh, you know, as much as I don't like some of these artworks, uh, these we're going to dive into the singles here. That Obviously, that these cards are performing well in the market. The market is accepting them. So... I was wrong. Now, if we see here, this is obviously TCG, TCG player, if you guys are not familiar. Um, you know, popular uh, card price and selling site, so easy to get market value from here. Um, keep in mind that it is possible for there to be buyouts and stuff, but um, I don't think we're at that point currently with some of this. Um, we'll talk about that in some of these individual cards, but we can see uh, while we don't have a single card over $100, I see a lot of strength here because we have 80, 70, 48, 44, 40, 38, 30. Like, there's a lot of cards, like, you have to get down to here for the first one to just to be barely under 20. Now, this that's why I'm seeing a, a lot of strength here. And, I mean, look at these, look at these SIRs up here, right? These are... Uh, different variations of popular Pokemon for the most part uh, with the one exception being an IR up here of uh, Ghastly but we'll get to that now it's interesting because these have jumped around with what was the chase card and what wasn't but well currently the chase card is the Raging Bolt so if you guys want to check that out it it started at came out the gate at 50 and I thought we were going to see this come down not because that this artwork isn't good I mean, I'm sure that a lot of you guys will agree that all of these artworks are great. It's just that the Pokemon style that they chose, like they did Raikou dirty, <laughs> in my opinion. Just my opinion, right? Um, but I do like, like the artwork is great. This kind of gives me like, honestly, like a Land Before Time kind of vibe. But, you know, it's it's interesting to see what's happening with these newer sets. If you guys watched Twilight's video from yesterday, up, you know, it's just interesting. They're They're performing differently. So out the gate at 50, up to 70, back down below to sub 50, and up to just cracked 100, and then we're now down to 83, but we're seeing it solidify at that price range, right? It's still on a little bit of a down, a downturn, but it seems like it's holding steady around that $80 mark. As you can see, the listed average price is around 90, so we might see another uptick here with the Raging Bolt. So interesting to see what's going on here people obviously are accepting the card they like the card which you know is a little bit surprising to me just because like i said um i i don't like this version of this pokemon now this card once again is absolutely the artwork is stunning just the kind of the pokemon right i thought kind of the same thing i thought oh well these these cards aren't going to be that popular because of the pokemon but tough hit rates right tough to pull and there is no denying that the artwork is brilliant. So um, we came out of the gate, same, same kind of thing at 55, shot up to 95, and then it kind of tanked all the way back down to 55 again, shot back up to 82, and it's kind of holding steady around the 70 range. But same thing, listed average price is 86, so we can expect possibly a tick up to 86, which would put it above this point, you know, and put it close close-ish to the all-time high uh, for this card so uh, people are accepting this price they're buying it I mean I, as you can see here I mean we do have like a $66 sale which is under under market it does happen but you know things are varying things are moving 
um, for the Iron Crown. Then we have the Walking Wake, which, you know, once again, kind of the same thing, uh, where I don't like this version of this Pokemon, but hard to pull SIR. And when you start to look at the artwork, for this artwork, I kind of get like an Avatar vibe, like on, when they're on Pandora and like all the like all the plants are like illuminating and stuff. It's kind of the vibe I get, so great artwork, okay? You cannot deny that the artwork is great. Scarlet and Violet is hands down some of the best artwork we've ever been getting overall. It's too good. It's just way too good. We're in this era of peak artwork, right? I don't think that anybody can deny that. And so when you couple that with tough pull rates, you know, I guess I was wrong, guys. I thought I thought there was no way. And you're seeing a, the similar pattern out the gate at 40, up to 50, down to 37. This card's a lot more affordable, and, you know, we're at 47. But listed average price, 56, so expect this to possibly go up on a run here. It's it's just very interesting what is happening with these new sets. Uh, people are buying them. People are eating them up at these prices, and I didn't think that they would. I, did, I really didn't. Now, next up, we have the Morty's Conviction, which was, uh, this was like a buyout scenario, um, or supposedly, if you guys followed this, like when it came out the gate at 38, which I thought was high at the time, and I thought it was going to come down to around 20-ish, um, albeit, this is a great looking card, right? At the, you get the big old Gengar, the Pidgey down here, I mean, right? But... I just thought with it being a trainer, you know, it wasn't going to do it. When we had the big buyout, it shot up to around 100 like 90 bucks, came all the way back down, but it's still holding at $44, right? Now, this one, the uptick might not be as great. Listed medium price is around 50 bucks, So, you know, keep that in mind. But the uh, Morty's Conviction, you know, once again, it's surpri surpassing my expectations. And I'm happy to admit when I was wrong. Then, this card has been possibly the most surprising because it is an IR, it's not even an SIR, right? Same thing, it started off like, you know, 16 bucks, and I thought that this card was going to be maybe a sub $10 card for a while. It, it, we had a, it had its little buyout, or whatever you want to call it, or popularity run, buyout combination of the two, FOMO, whatever. Shot up to 30 tanked all the way back down to its pretty much its original price at 16 bucks, and I thought it was going to keep falling. But no, people just kept gobbling it up, gobbling it up, gobbling it up, and now we're we're holding steady at thirty-four dollars. The next average price is forty, so expect another step up to keep to the all-time high. If this card cracks forty dollars, that'll be really interesting. And I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this card is this card is pretty dope. Um, I do like this card a lot. I never said that I didn't like this card in particular. It's just some of the other variations. You got the Ghastly, the Gengar, the Haunter, the Meowth. Um, it is a no-brainer, but with it being an IR, you think it would be a lot more common than it's not an SIR. So that is why the price, to me, you know, still seems a little high, you would think, based off of past trends. So that's kind of what I'm going off of there. Now, if we come back to our main page here, um, you know, there's the further down you go, I, I kind of feel like this set is not as strong with some of these other cards so you know I, I, that's just my opinion though and you know like the iron boulder here being sub 20 for an sir it's you know gonna have the same hit rates as some of those other pokemon and not as cool of a pokemon but once again you can't deny the art is great on it so i mean this one came out the gate hot at see this is more of what i expected more of the other cards to follow this trend they do this a lot you know dipping down out at 32 back up to 26 and then down to sub 20 i expected to see this pattern or something similar to it on the other card so that's where the i'm wrong came from but you got the boxes at over 100 and you got some really good strength here in these top like six seven cards um so and there's some other there's some other cool cards in here as well, but um, yeah. Once again, I was wrong. Okay, temporal and twilight, I was wrong. But uh, yeah, just wanted to make this video, give the sets the credit that they deserve, admit that I was wrong, and that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Remember, 
It was never a face.